to Movie Review Mom. Today, I have, a, woo, <laughs> I have a special guest with me named Christian Paystrup. Hello, everybody. Hey, we're here to review Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> Christian has a website called Dark Star Studios that he's going to tell us a little bit about at the end. Um, and I thought he would be a perfect person to help me review Spider-Man, um, partly because of his age, but also partly because on his Facebook page, he proclaims himself a proud weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I, I do consider myself a proud weirdo. <laughs> Average is overrated comic book lovers and what we used to maybe call weirdos or geeks or nerds man right. they are living their heyday because of all these superhero movies yeah and like and they're they're making massive amounts of money and like i know black panther is getting a couple of nominations recently or something yeah they're doing great yeah. so i'm a proud weirdo too if you want to say that yeah. yeah, all right. So on the count of three, tell me your letter grade for what movie review grade you would give Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Ready? One, one, two, three. A plus. Whoa, A plus. That's awesome and well deserved. Tell me why you gave it an A plus and why you love it so much. Because I did too. I thought it was fantastic. Hmm, I think part of it was it just, it felt like an actual Spider-Man movie, but it more felt the spirit of it and not Peter Parker. I feel like Homecoming, for example, got the Peter Parker aspect right. This one got the whole idea of what Spider-Man is right. And part of that is just a beautifully animated film. It is. It's amazing. And it felt like you're reading a comic book. So yeah. when you say the spirit of Spider-Man, wow, it's got the little comment bubbles and the sound effects and things that are written like you would see in a comic book. I and think like the panel, panel are going to love it. Yeah. yeah. And it was so colorful and the animation was adorable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell me more. Mm. <laughs> are you a, are you a Spider-Man comic book reader? Well, no, not necessarily. I'm kind of a fan, like most people are fans of it. You know, we grow up with this idea of a character who can, like, just swing around and we're like, hey, this is a cool guy, you know? <laughs> we all kind of grow up with Spider-Man, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me how old you are. I am about 17. Um, I'm currently a senior. Okay. So you're about 17. Does that mean you are 17? Or you're I am 17. I'll be... 18 in a couple of months. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're 17. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Spider-Man is about your age, right? Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. So do you feel like you can really relate to him? Like all of his high school drama, meeting girls and all that? Well, I, I've never had to deal with like trying to get over the whole mad, like powers coming into your like social <laughs> kind of thing. But I have definitely dealt with kind of the awkwardness. Sometimes, because you feel like people are like, you know, maybe looking at you a bit differently, but you also are like, well, like, it doesn't really matter. I got to get on with my next class. And it right. Did, yeah. I thought this movie did a really good job of showing how it feels to be a teenager and right. some of that awkwardness and not to mention trying to develop these superpowers, right? right. I thought that that was really cute. Um, Miles's dad says, you know, we all have choices to make in life. And I feel like the biggest decisions that you have to make in life are when you're a teenager. Yeah, because right? you're just right around the corner to be an adult. And it's right. like kind of insane. Yeah. So how are you going to earn a living? Are you going to go to university? Who are you going to date? Which leads to who you're going to marry. Um, you know, who are you going to surround yourself with? What talents are you going to use in your life and in the world? Yeah, it's a really important part of your life, your time of your life. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I loved the Stan Lee cameo. Yes, that, that is probably now my favorite cameo 
ever from him. If that was so cute. And I love that Marvel has always put Stan Lee in their movies. I just always look forward to that little nugget. Yeah. And so the fact that they animated Stan Lee was so perfect. And by the way... a comic book owner in this one. What's that? I like that he was a comic book shop owner. It was kind of yeah. a... Oh, right in the feels. Exactly, exactly. It almost made me cry. It was so sweet. Um, by the way, Deadpool, or Once Upon a Deadpool, just came out in theaters this week. Right. It's PG-13, and, um, you know, so they've toned it down. It's basically Deadpool 2 with some fun Fred Savage edits. But at right. the very, very, very end of all of the credits and the music at the very, very, very end, they have a very sweet tribute to Stan Lee as well. Oh. Gives you the feels, just like you said. Yeah. What did you think of the casting in the movie? I, I liked I liked all the cast. Um, I thought probably my favorite was Nicolas Cage as the Spider-Man new Yeah, guy. perfect voice for the film noir Spider-Man. I just laughed every time he opened his mouth. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd probably say, uh, um, an actor I don't want to say because it might spoil something, but like... It, I don't, I don't want to say their name, but Chris Pine's character. I, I know! That. I love Chris Pine's. Those blue eyes, they get me every time. I actually did not recognize his voice. Later, I looked it up to see who it was, and I was like, oh, that was Chris Pine? <laughs> so yeah, listen listen carefully for these voices. Um, Haley Steinfeld plays Gwen Stacy, the female. <laughs> I know, so cute. Uh, Jake Johnson was Peter B. Parker, and I loved his voice. I loved his character with the sweatpants. <laughs> totally relate. He's just down on the sick and tired of being Spider-Man. I liked it a lot. <laughs> uh, Shamik Moore plays Miles Morales, who is the young Spider-Man in the movie. Um, Mahershal, I can never say his name correctly. Yeah, Mahershal. Probably. Say it again. Mahershala Ali. Yes. I can't say it either. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he plays Uncle Aaron, who is a really great uh, character. And man, this guy uh, knows how to pick the movies. He was, um, he, of course, he won an Oscar for Moonlight. I think, was that last year? Yeah. Uh, maybe two years ago? Um, that was two years ago. Two years ago and then he just came out in the green book and there's oscar buzz oh, wow. in green book and i don't know that he's going to win an oscar for this but what about best animation do you think that this movie will win an academy award for best animation in 2018 I hope so, just because I'm also sick and as much as I love Disney and Pixar, I kind of get sick and tired when they always win. <laughs> I feel like I kind of want this one to win just because of like what it was able to do with the different animation styles and like make it all work on screen. Yeah. That, that, I think it should. I just, I, I don't know if it will, but I hope it does for sure. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so how do you feel like this is an appropriate movie or not appropriate movie for kids? I think for the most part, yes. There are a couple of moments that I would say are pretty intense. Like there was a big jump scare. And there was like a little kid in my audience. And as soon as the jump scare happened, they like just started crying. Like I could hear it. I was like, okay. Really? Yeah, that's, that's what I ended up getting. Um, oh, over there, I was like, very What's that? I, I'd probably say it's very appropriate for kids for the most part. Like, there wasn't really anything that I was like, yeah, I don't think a kid could handle this kind of thing. Um, well, you know, it's Spider Man, so there's some violence, but it's all bloodless, right? And nobody gets decapitated or dies in some horrific, gross way. You know, they're just lots of fighting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what do you think for the. Yeah. What do you think were the big lessons to be learned from the movie? Hmm. I think the biggest one is the idea that, like, we don't have to let, what, how do I just explain this? We all have our own choices in life um, of what we, we wish to become. 
Exactly. And it's not up to anyone. It's up to us what we decide that like life is. Um, Miles goes on the whole journey of trying to be like all the different spider men but he just feels like he can, and it comes to the idea that what makes you you is what makes you Spider-Man. Like, it's not what Peter Parker is, it's not what Gwen Stacy is, it's what you are that makes you Spider-Man. I thought that really was a very good message for the movie. Yeah, you nailed it. And that there was also, towards the end, the narrative that we all can be a hero, we all wear a mask, but it's our choice who we decide to be. Uh, I thought that that was really great. I thought that you were talking about um, the, the film noir Spider-Man, and he says, this is a pretty hardcore origin story. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty that was my <laughs> all movies. There's a lot of humor in this movie, so much so I had many laugh out loud moments, which I appreciate. Yeah, definitely. The audience was laughing a lot where I was. Yeah. Was were they cheering too? Uh, there was no cheering in the end, which kind of let me down a bit, but it was like, people were all like, that was awesome. So, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's just really well done. It's super entertaining. I think it's family friendly. It's a great movie. So, thank you for joining us today. Woo! Subscribe to Movie Mom. <laughs> so be sure to hit subscribe, ring the bell, like it, tell your friends, share the video. Definitely go see Spider-Man. Definitely. I recommend yeah. it. And check out Christian's website as well. Yeah. Thanks. Bye for now. Bye.